cooking hard? Is cooking for smart people? No, it's for fucking idiots. There's nothing hard about cooking. But you still like it. Uh, yes. Yeah. Doesn't mean anything. No. Cooking is for professors. Well, I wouldn't like it just because it's for smart people. No, 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 that's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying you still like cooking, but you admit that, I mean, I don't know. I'm not admit. Yeah, I will tell you. Like, it takes no brains to ride a bicycle either, and I love the bicycle. Oh, my God. Yeah, it's not bad on a bicycle. Here's how most jobs work. If you're intelligent, thoughtful, creative. Oh, you get fired in a heartbeat. Creative. <laughs> mm-hmm. You're going to be so and dissatisfied with your work. It's going to be difficult. Yeah, it's good to have a job where you can just like go into no mind and just do it. If you can name a job that's for truly intelligent, sophisticated, thoughtful people, it's not a common job. I know it pays in crypto. <laughs> that sounds like engineers. That's not, that's not what's important about your work. If you're expecting to get a certain amount of that out of the baseline of your work, you're a certain amount, a certain amount of what, what of money? No, no, not money. Satisfaction in that sense. What you're signing up for is wage debt slavery. Dissatisfaction, angriness. Uh, that's not what your job is for. What you're able to do inside your own mind. And for the people who are able to interpret what you put down is very different. But don't expect your job to stimulate you. That's a huge problem with people, particularly from my generation. I think we're going to get something out of it. It's, it doesn't work that way. Mm -mm. No. No, it's more basic than that. Your job will always be more basic than that. It's up to you to stimulate yourself. People used to say that like when I, my job in Alaska was working taking care of disabled people, both mostly. They go, oh, it's so rewarding. I was like, oh, yeah, no, no, it, no, it's fine. It's draining. It's, like if you're gonna like expect your job to be extremely stimulating, and then when people don't, for example find your cuisine existentially stimulating. Right, if you're, you're going to get mad about that, you're in the wrong industry. It's all over. It's yeah. over. That's a lot that's a lot of why I didn't end up training horses because like most of the people like they want their horses trained to overcome their own like complete utter laziness and lack of compassion and lack of a desire <laughs> to connect with the creature right it was like no fuck you i'm not going to train the horse to do this for you you can learn to ride <laughs> but if the job is to teach the horse no matter what you do the job well i train my own horses and then i sell them and then i walk away no it's very hard the point is yeah the, the job doesn't need mm. to be what completes you mm -mm. your so life your life is it don't the money? <laughs> you want to equate money to, su <laughs> to success and completion? That's not how it works. Money is so basic yeah. and so below. You know, like whatever people are trying to access this divine being that it. The money is so easy, but thinking about money, thinking that it's going to satisfy you and anything having to do with it to me, it even close, is ridiculous. There's nothing wrong with it. Just do it. Like, if you're doing something beyond it, the money will come before you even get there. But don't ever, ever, ever think about the money. Why? Why would you do that? You say if you're doing something beyond it. What do you mean by that? So say you're, you're trying to... Uh, what do you do for a living? I'm going to the hotel industry. Why are you going to the hotel industry? Because I love people. Because you love people. Like so people. The, the incident where you were able to clearly see what one person needed to make them feel good and help them get there, give them that hospitality, the specifics of that incident 
are not the exact requirements of your job. Absolutely. And the specifics of getting to that next level so far outstep what your occupation is that if you succeed in completing those, you have by default already destroyed your job. You've done such a good job, you're up for promotion. It doesn't matter. The, the, the two are so unrelated. If you're just getting a job to get by, if it's even remotely connected to something you care about, if you do what you care about within that job, there will be success, with few exceptions. And that has to do with rules and regulations. Oh my goodness. Rules we have it at Saturn uh, going into Capricorn, and he's my sky daddy, so I'm in luck. There you go. Rules and regulations cause problems. Yeah, they do. Unless, yeah. well. You know, at, at a level of cooking, you realize you're cooking under the legally advised temperature to cook foods to. Interesting. So, and it goes for everything. To go above and beyond in the service industry, you're getting maybe a little too close to your guests. We so, call it reframing. Yeah, you must. We call it reframing, and we call it... Um, That's what we pass. Uh, but the beauty of restraint is to show that you have desire to go further while restraining yourself. And then yeah. the person, the subject of your work, notices it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. I, I, have, I, have really, qualified. I have really good success <laughs> with the people I work with. Yeah, but isn't that crazy? Like, they won't hire you because you're overqualified. That just blew. The, the, I was just it's not shocked. that crazy. There's, there's this. Why would I hire you if you're gonna quit next month for a different, better job? Makes all the sense. That's why I don't hire overqualified people. Makes all the you sense. need. If I want you for two years, you gotta be happy for two years. You're willing to do it for two years. It's like two reasons to do that. Either you're like fucking like wacky drug addict or something who can do anything for two years just to support their habit, or <laughs> or you're actually learning. If you're beyond the job, why would I ever hire you? Because you're gonna be gone. Isn't that true? Have you ever hired for? Have you ever been hired for a job you're overqualified for and stuck around for six years? More than not. No, never. <laughs> no, it makes never. sense. I, that yeah. doesn't make All sense. All day long all. in small remote towns. <laughs> and, uh, and not in Seattle. <laughs> yeah, <this laughs> I can do anything I, yeah, I can yeah. do anything I want to here. It's interesting. Oh, wow. God, that's black. I mean, it's gravy now. Okay, now i got to come over and look. Okay, I'll keep you guys in the frame. Let's look. Oh, yeah, look, look at that. that. Oh, it's turning brown. It's yeah. like gravy. This is the Cajun roux with half and half veggie oil and flour. White mm -hmm. flour, I'm guessing. Et tu Etouffee, is that what it's called? No. Uh, I'll make a Etouffee is a regular ER verb, meaning uh, to smother. Oh, it's smother. Why do I think it means stuff? Like smothered uh, gravy, uh, like smothered chicken or smothered pork chops. Stuff is different. Yeah. Um, Etouffee means to smother. It's a regular ER verb. The past participle is in smothered. It's pronounced the same way, but spelled differently. It's an E with an acute accent on the end. Accent aigu. Accent aigu. Yeah. Accent aigu. Yeah, CKC, baby. <laughs> um, it means smothered. So, uh, and the Cajun way of doing it involves a root much darker than the French use. That's really fascinating. I've heard it referred to as a brick root before. A brick root? Yeah, like brick red. Mm. It's just ultra dark. This is brown. This is there already in... where French root that. would be the darkest. Yeah. Interesting. Yeah, but they go darker. Okay. You put that over chicken. Yeah, or chops. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. Yeah. My life might be over. I might have to go back. Oh, no, I got one right in my pocket. <laughs> okay, I'm done.